Uh, my name is Paul Hart. I'm uh, the artistic director of the Watermill Theatre and uh, the director of Romeo and Juliet and Twelfth Night, which is playing in Norwich this week. I think my feeling with Shakespeare has always been uh, that when they were done originally, um, they were done very much for uh, that contemporary audience. And I'm a great believer in uh, wanting to make the plays feel relevant to a modern audience because I think they are. I think the, the themes are completely, um, you know, eternal really. And um, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really kind of, uh, I'm not that interested in doing Shakespeare's that are just kind of concentrating on original performance conditions or anything like that. So yeah, bringing them to life in a new way is what I'm really passionate about. Dream really when we started rehearsing them was that um, we wanted to create the productions that um, we would all have loved to have seen when you know we were at school uh, and uh, maybe not knowing a huge amount of, about Shakespeare um, because I think you know to use that word they are really quite accessible versions of the play and that's mainly through our use of music there's um, a huge amount of music in both productions um, which I hope give a real sense of the world of both of the, the plays. Um, so we're very true to the original text, but um, absolutely keen to open, open the plays up to a new, new audience. I've, I worked with Propeller for nearly 10 years, so um, our every kind of fabric of my being uh, is influenced by their amazing work on Shakespeare um, and I think you're absolutely right the energy is the crucial thing um, it's about having an ensemble of actors who just really go for it and um, are bold and experimental and play with ideas um, that is very much what I've sort of inherited from from the propeller model um, and I think anyone who came to see those shows will really enjoy these productions as well. Um, although there's a lot of differences um, and yeah, we're, we're trying to do something um, a bit different and new as well, So, um, uh, but it very much feeds off, off of that, that tradition. I think um, it's a really obvious one, but I've never quite shook off the idea of um, if music be the food of love, play on as a brilliant kind of starter for a, for a play, you know, as a, as a way of kicking things off. You've got an idea and you've got a kind of challenge to the company and the audience and I think um, it's probably the best first line of a play ever written, so it's got to be that for me. Mm -hmm.